from Newsnet and CCTV, it's High School Basketball, coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. All right, it's halftime here with the Vikings uh, with a nine-point lead, the same lead they had at the end of the first quarter against the Petoskey Northmen here as we get uh, season winding down here for uh, both teams as far as the 2019 part. Both schools uh, had to some uh, holiday vacation. Both teams will be off until uh, January. Petoskey, uh, not a lot of scoring tonight. With 16 points just here in the first half. Leading the way, Kenzie Bromley with uh, five points. And Elizabeth Hallian with four. Sydney Mann with the, the lone three-pointer for Petoskey at this point. A lot of turnovers against that Viking press. And... Uh, a lot of missed opportunities, a lot of stuff left on the table, if you will, as Petoskey has really struggled from the free throw line, going just 4-4-13. Four, four, and how about for Cadillac? Oh, well, Cadillac has uh, two leading scorers. Molly Anderson looks like she has about 10 points. And McKenna Bryant looking like 13 coming from her with uh, Michaela Knight throwing two more in there. Cadillac's been making quite a few of their free throws. I'm seeing uh, five, five out of eight, I want to say. My math is right. Um, yeah, I say the one thing that Cadillac needs to fix is just a few reaching fouls. Once again, an easy fix to do, just hustle back on defense. So I say if Vikings keep playing their game and making a few shots, it could turn out in their favor. You know, as a coach, you're thinking, uh, I, at least I would be thinking, you know, this game's getting called really tight, and I think... This is a good experience for Cadillac because they press so much all game long. They look to trap. If they just allow themselves to move their feet and not reach in those positions, they're going to get a lot of those same turnovers anyway. Yep. Uh, but they want to keep Petoskey off the line. I think it might be a good experience for them. I agree with you. Definitely as a young team, those are easy fouls to make. You're excited. It's loud. A lot of people in the, crowd, in the, the stands tonight. So... You, Really, oh, it looks like we have uh, Ethan Whitley and Mariah Whitley in the building. Absolutely. Saying their hellos. See them here. Absolutely. And I think you did a little summit in Mariah Whitley's class today, didn't you? I did. I finished up the last hour in the third grade class. The kids were talkative, but Christmas <laughs> is right around the corner, so you can't really blame them. Absolutely. They're <laughs> excited. So uh, Evan and I will be right back, everybody, here on Newsnet with uh, some third quarter action from Cadillac High School. <laughs> 